one thing I know for sure, don't do it like me. Do it like you. Brooklyn! No, for real. All the dead ass done with ones. And then you're gonna put the Chicago ones collabing with the Spider Mans? Dead ass. Alright, yo. What's going on, guys? Jumpman Chris here. Come back at y'all with another vid. Gotta take the gloves off for this thing because this is gonna be another how to cop video. That's right. Dude, we're gonna talk about the cop. Well, no, sorry. My bad. We're gonna talk about. The Spider-Man you into the you universe origin stories whatever it's basically it kind of looks like the Chicago ones and has like the icy bottoms. But anyways, like seriously, I was so done with ones this year, like so done. Like I have copped so many one this years, this year, but man, now you're gonna get the look that look like the Chicago ones with a little bit of like that um that 3M and it's gonna kind of you know has that little collab with Spider-Man. One of my favorite Marvel characters, and Stanley just passed away. JB, you did it to me again. But anyways, my all-time favorite Jordan ones are definitely the Chicago ones by far, by far, by far. So anyways, this is definitely a must cop for me. I gotta have these things. I really want these things though, but I'm really, really scared, guy, because from what I'm hearing, it's gonna be low stocks, just like every Jordan ones. Yes, that's right. A lot of people hit me up. They're like, yo, these things should be easy. They're everywhere, yada, yada, yada. But guess what? Each store is probably having like one size run or two size runs. So these things will be kind of limited, uh, pretty much limited. It's like a semi GR limited ish, whatever. That's what the stocks is apparently. Uh, especially guys, uh, GS size is gonna be extremely hard to get. And also the money sizes will be hard to get. But in my prediction, We'll talk about in this video about resale and all that good stuff, but also let's just go ahead, let's jump into this how to cop, okay? All right, so first things first, guys, I want you guys to go to is your foot site apps, which I mean is foot action, foot locker, and champs. Bam, that's what it is. And what you guys gonna wanna do is you gotta go to your uh, launch locator, go into your app, bam, and then do your check ins. Like I said, every place will be having it. A lot of stores are gonna be having these guys, like I said. Make sure you check in. Hopefully you guys are a VIP member and all that good stuff, so that way you can go into the store, check in, get your 10 minute head start. That way you be increase your chances of winning. Some people ask me what is 10 minute head start? Why you gotta do 10 minute head start? Basically, from what I'm hearing with these 10 minute head start, is they're like in tiers of like of uh, these raffles. It's basically a raffle system, but they're in tiers. So if you have a 10 minute head start and all the people in 10 minute head starts usually will have a better chance of winning say like a seven and a six minute head start which i'm not sure if that's true or whatever because i have won the go toes in it with a seven minute head start don't kill me i don't really know exactly how the algorithm is but it just it makes me feel better that i did 10 minute head starts okay so yeah that's probably the best way to do it is you know like I said, Foot Locker, Champs, and Foot Action, probably the absolutely, probably your absolute best way of getting these things. Because, you know, with the whole like back dooring and, and first come first serve stuff, this is probably gonna be the, the easiest way to actually do it. Now, Hibbits will not be getting them, but Finish Line will be getting them. I've been looking on the Finish Line app. I'm not sure if they're doing raffles yet. It is not on the on the app yet to this day, to this day. Day. Uh, for some reason, I don't know what it is. Maybe they're doing first come first serve or maybe some stores not getting them. I have not sure. I'm gonna be keep checking the app all day long. But from what I'm hearing, yes, finish line will be getting them. So uh, just keep calling your finish line. Maybe they're doing first come first serve or some finish line might not even get them. So if I was you guys in your area, call up finish line, see what's going on. Yeah. And of course you got your in-store raffles. You know, you got in my area, we got Jimmy Jazz, we got uh, City Gear. Usually city gear is first come first serve. I'll let y'all know about that in a little bit. Um, and then you have, you know, DLSLR, Chic and all that. I'm not sure how everyone does it in their area, but just in my area, that's how we would do is in-store raffle. All you have done and you took all L's that day. Anyway, so one way to do it actually guys, I'm not sure if anyone would probably pick up other pairs or not. Usually, uh, let's say Foot Locker, Champs, Foot Action, and even Finish Line, or any other store like that, usually they give out the first come first serve after 3 p.m. on the day of. So if no one cl claims their pair, you can get those or the extra pairs. The extra pair meaning 
that the pairs didn't go into the system for the raffle so then you have a chance to get those so on and so forth because sometimes not all pairs go into the raffle for some reason i don't know and also you can also do first come first serve what I mean, first come, first serve, first one, you're there, bruh. The store that I do first come, first serve, like boutique shops, let's say like Wish, Oneness, and all that good stuff. So yeah, it's going to be first come, first serve. And even my, usually uh, some city gears do first come, first serve too. Or But most, some of them do in-store raffles. Call them up, see which city gear does it. I don't know, just be careful, be safe, guys, because, you know, Jordan 1s, it's always big hype. It's always kind of crazy. Uh, hopefully no one gets hurt. If you guys didn't see that Soulfly thing over in Miami, that was insane. So yes. Be careful, be safe out there. Don't do anything stupid. They're just shoes, guys, okay? With that being said, all the in-store raffles, all the foot apps, all that good stuff, first come, first serve. Now, if anything else, it's also gonna be online. What I mean by online is the sneaker app. Uh, Nike sneaker apps will be having these drop at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So that means 7 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, looks like it's gonna be first come, first serve. So good luck, guys, out there. I've always taken L on every single one on these sneaker apps. Make sure you're the first one there and then you'll get in line and then they'll tell you before you get your L, I mean W, I mean if you got them or not. I don't know, sneaker apps, I've always taken L, bro. Especially, I don't know, maybe because I'm just the money side. I, I swear, I hate it, I really do. Also online, you guys can be trying, uh, like I said, foot action, champs, Foot Locker, Finish Line, and also East Bay, all that good stuff, guys. Uh, usually bots will be eating this thing up, so, Good luck out there. Try to get in there real quick. I don't know. Uh, usually, like I said, bots be eating those things up real quick. They always just sell out quickly. You got to keep tap on the damn thing. It's usually a pain in the ass. I don't have time for doing that all day, every Saturday. So this is what my advice to you guys. Yes, that's right. My dude, Soda Cart is doing a three for one. All right, make sure you guys use my uh, discount code on, it would be Jumperman10. Save us, uh, use some money on your slots for Soda Cart. This is how I'll be doing it if I take L's because I, I refuse to take L's these damn things. Yes, use uh, Soda Cart. What he will do is basically you give out your information and all that good stuff, and then he will try to cop for you. And it's a win-win situation. So if you don't cop, or if he doesn't get them for you, you get a refund. That's right, so it's a win-win situation. And what I mean by three, four, one, he'll be running that one slot with that credit card of yours, that one slot on three sites, so you have a chance to hit on three times for one. That's right, I'll be running at least five or so slots or something like that, just more chances for me, because I just, I really want these things. I'm afraid to take an L. I'm not sure how bad these things are. You get, I just, I'm just afraid. It's a Chicago, Chicago from one colorway and it's a one you know and it's during the holiday season it's just scary and if you guys want to do online raffles make sure you guys follow sneaker uh twitter it'll be you know right here the sneaker twitter or whatever they usually drop sites that be doing online raffle if you guys are interested in doing that i don't like doing this or, or online raffles i mean sorry my bad online raffle i hate doing online raffle i never win those things i think it's ugh, I hate. and then give away your email then it, i get spammed every five minutes all right, so there you guys, that's a how to cop. I know, like I said, it's pretty much similar to most of my how to cop guys, but you know, everybody wants to know how you cop these U-verse. And actually some other information I do have, yes, these things will be somewhat limited. It's like a semi-GR, like I was saying earlier. It will be in every store, so that's a good thing. More chances for us, but they will be limited uh, runs, guys. I'm just letting you guys know. Maybe one size, two size for what I'm hearing. Uh, hopefully they'll have more shipping so they'll know. I'll give more information out if I can. Just make sure you guys follow me on IG. I'll try to help everyone out like that. But it's, you know, it's a one, guys. It's gonna be some hype. Like, it's pretty close to Chicago one, uh, co you know, colorway. Spider-Man is about to come out. The movie's about to come out. It's all kind of crazy hype, you know. It's, it's a dope ass shoot and the holiday season coming out, so you will have to put some work in. This ain't gonna be easy. I'm just letting y'all know. So, anyways, if you guys wanna know about resale, definitely GS size is definitely the money size. Oh God, if I was a, a girl, I'd be so pissed off because everyone is buying their size up just to resell. Cause why? Cause the new dumbass guys like me will actually buy them. And also a size seven to a nine and a half is also a money size. Size 10 is a, a little bit of a money size. Mainly size seven to a nine is the most expensive size. Nine and a half is still pretty expensive. 10 is kind of eh. But other than that, most of them, I, I was thinking it might be like the rookies, but I'm looking on StockX right now. They're going for like 400 right now to 380 for my size. That's a nine and a half. Eight's 450. Jesus Christ, freaking a size. This is going to be, this is going to be tough, guys. I'm just letting y'all know right now. Oh, GS size is not too bad. So GS size about uh, 350. 
and then a men's size G uh, seven. And, oof, it's so expensive. It's, it's really, it's gonna be out there. It's gonna be pretty expensive, guys. So yes, there will be resale to be made on these things. How much will it be once it's dropped? Like I said, my prediction, they will drop. And it'll be just like the rookies as it is right now. It's not should be too high. Maybe the most like I'm talking about money size, my size, nine and a half. I think after the drop and everything, we're looking around like 300 to 320. I know, man. And then, you know, GS size, of course, we're looking about another 250, 300. Size 10, we're looking about 250, 12, probably closer to more than retail. So, yes, these there is profit to be made, guys. Just be careful out there. Hopefully, you guys get your pairs. Good luck out there for all the people that actually want these things. But, you know, it is what it is. Resell, it's a bitch, but it's part of the game, and it is it is what it is, yo. That's the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below if you guys are going to want these things or not or get them. Like I said, I think these things might be pretty hard to get, but good luck out there, guys. Uh, also, please hit that bell for all notifications for when I do drop it, guys. All right, I'm Jumpman Chris. Peace.